These are exceptional homes to be toured when you're in the Boston area. There are so many famous places to see when traveling around Boston. I wanted to introduce you to some lesser known homes. This is the Wayside, the home where Nathaniel Hawthorne ended his writing days, where Louisa May Alcott penned her first published works. This home sheltered both slave owners and fugitive slaves. It is on the Underground Railroad Network of Freedom. And this is Louisa May Alcott's Orchard House. And here we find the headquarters of General George Washington in the home of Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. Longfellow was one of the world's foremost 19th century poets. This is also the house that served as headquarters for General Washington during the Siege of Boston. Have you subscribed yet? If not, please do, especially if you're a literary fan. And then there's Frederick Law Olmsted National Historic Site. Frederick Law Olmsted is recognized as the founder of American landscape architecture and the nation's foremost park maker. Be sure to watch the architecture playlist on my YouTube channel, Unclassic Road Trip. And then there's the House of Seven Gables in Salem. The House of Seven Gables inspired author Nathaniel Hawthorne to write his legendary novel of the same name. Hawthorne's birthplace is also at the historic site. The house is also known as the Turner Ingersoll Mansion. Discover a secret staircase. This is the oldest surviving 17th century wooden mansion in New England. This makes a trip to the Salem Maritime National Historic Site so worthwhile. The updated edition of Off and On the Beaten Path, the Unclassic Road Trip, is now a Available. You will want to order one at danasbooks.net. Or better yet, for faster service, call or text 603-616-8907 and I will get your book out in less than 24 hours. I accept Cash App, Zelle, or PayPal. To tell a friend, share my video on your social media. Tennis shoes on the ground. Unclassic Road Trip. Wait till you find out where these people are buried. It's not far away.